Before I start the video, I want to tell you that I opened a new Discord server, so please join it in case anything bad happens to the channel. Also, you can chat in there. Link is in the description. Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Yesterday there was a huge plot leaks for season 13, a lot of stuff and actually it's most likely true, because I don't really think all of this is just for the board game, it will be for the show, and let me say it guys, this is so awesome, remember when I said that we need a villains vs villains season, yeah season 13 will be that, I just can't believe it, it's awesome, finally Ninjago is going to break the same boring plot every single season, and season 13 seems to be the most different season of the show yet, if these leaks are true. Which I really hope so, they look very very cool, so each ninja except for Jay will have a big role in this season, so I'm going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. So let's get started. At the very bottom we have Jay's role, well like I said he will have by far the smallest and worst role in this season, because there will be another role of triangle in Ninjago, well the first one in season 3 was the second worst arc in Ninjago after the Kai season 11 parallels arc, it took Cole and Jay uh, especially, especially Cole completely out of character and made me a doll for Cole and Jay to fight over, but I'm hoping this one will be better because it's not between 3 ninja and it's, it is very different as a concept from the other one, but I still think the role of Jay will play playing season 13 is easily the least interesting and the smallest out of all the ninja. At 5th place we have Zane's role, well Zane's role will be big in this season but it, it isn't really that interesting, it feels very similar to what happened in the first few episodes of Hunted to the ninja in the first realm, basically Kai and Zane are trapped by a tribe called Heckles and I think it means Geckles which are the purple goblins, but anyways they, they were captured and they need to fight the minor creatures to, to escape, so Zane will tame it and become friends with it, again it's almost identical to the season 9 story and not that interesting to me. At 4th place we have Lois Gerald, really Ninjago, how many fans exactly do you want to waste, everyone is complaining about Lois stealing all the girls, and you give him one for the 4th time, well I don't have a huge problem with this because it will be an awesome conclusion to his trust issues, but others will get super annoyed by this, but for me I think this is still a very very good role, Lloyd uh, don't have a good pass with princesses, so he will be doubting on Venia and feel like she is planning for something bad, which will prove to him that she isn't bad, which again will be a wonderful continuation and conclusion to, uh, to his trust issues that started with Harumi, so I'm super excited to, to see how this will be executed. Executed. Now we are getting to the great ones, at third place we have Nia, she will be involved in the love triangle as well and her story will be that she will fight princess Martessa and she will fall in love and who will fall in love with Jay, so they will fight and the winner will take Jay and rule the Mons, which are the green trolls, so spoilers, Nia won and became the ruler of the army, but she combined the tribe with another one to defeat the skull sorcerer. This is an awesome story mainly because of how Nia will lead the tribe and unite it with another one. This will be super awesome if executed well. Also the love triangle seems to be a small one and it won't be focused on too much which is good because I'm not interested at that at all. So Nia is the leader of the green trolls but Kai is the leader of the purple goblins, so these two tribes are in war because of the blade of deliverance, so Kai and Nia must reunite the two tribes which sounds again so so awesome, but you choose Kai's over Nia's because it doesn't have any stupid love triangle and it, evo and it evolves with the blade of deliverance mod which is definitely going to be a huge thing. And of course, at the, f at the first place we have Cole's arc, the main character of the season, his story isn't only awesome, it's a whole new level, I literally can't wait for season 13 only because of this story, it's, all of them are so so awesome except for Jay's, but this one especially is just extremely extremely awesome. So before Cole's mom uh, Lily died, Cole promised that he will defeat the enemy she once fought and never was able to defeat, the Skull Sorcerer, so he went alone on his journey to Mount Shintaro, he needs to find the old art of Spinjitsu, the squall of Spinjitsu, and team up with the Edo people to fulfill his promise and stop feeling guilty for not doing what he promised his mother to do. Whoa, I can't describe how I'm how awesome this is. this is, this description is just unbelievable, after season 11 season 12 I didn't expect at all something this amazing, this is the perfect introduction to Cole's mom without bringing her back physically, and how Cole needs to fulfill his promise and feeling guilty is something we never saw, 
uh, he also needs to lead the tribe and fight the squad of Spinjitsu. So Spinjitsu Burst will be involved in the season, which is definitely something good. But I don't like how retconny it is. It just feels very retconny. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't think there should have been anything about Spinjitsu in this year. I don't think the Spinjitsu Burst should have even existed. I mean, don't need um, game access, two game access uh, either, uh, every year. That's so stupid, but that's uh, another thing. So, um, if executed well, this can easily be the best ninja arc in all of Ninjago for how original, exciting, and big it is. I really hope all of these descriptions are true because they. If executed well, season 13 will have its place in my top 3 waiting. So that's it for today's video, sorry for looking too excited, but I try my best to not get too excited because I was so excited for season 11 and season 12 and they weren't really that good, so really really hope that season 13 proves me wrong and become one of the best Ninjago seasons ever. So thanks for watching, don't forget to tell me in the comments what do you think of these descriptions, don't forget to like, subscribe, share it with your friends and I'll see you next time.